Hey everybody, Joy here. <laughs> it's the end of the week. I started out this week on Monday telling you I was going to show you how I made this blouse fit me with the Palmer and Plush system and I'd take a bunch of shots and I already had a whole bunch of shots and I'd take some more and I'd already cut it all up and you remember from the last video. Well, <laughs> mm, this is super hot. I just made it. Oh, it's so good. Mm. And I so deserve it because this blouse has been a royal pain in the you-know-what. I kid you not. It says easy. Do you see how it says easy? It is anything but easy. The instructions are missing some things they shouldn't be missing. The pattern pieces are missing some notches they should have. It's very confusing even for me who has sewn forever and ever. And unless you are a giraffe with a size B bust, this pattern is going to give you fits. I have cut this back neck down probably an inch and a half. First I cut it a quarter, then another quarter, then a half, then some more, then some more. Even after I got it made, I kept cutting it down. So now the back facing it started out to be like two and a half inches, now it's like an inch. <laughs> the collar is way up here. It's just nuts. And I put a, um, a full back correction in this and I only put like half an inch. I usually put a whole inch. So I don't know if I will ever, ever try to make it again. Maybe I'll calm down and decide to try to make it again. <laughs> The collar is put together very strange. I would try to do it with my SureFit designs, but the collar strange, and I don't understand how to re how to transfer it. I must be a preacher. I just spit on my tripod. <laughs> ah! I don't think I can understand it enough to transfer it to my SureFit designs because the collar is made very strange. And I don't want to bother Glenda. Glenda just had surgery on her hip, and I do not want to bother Glenda. Dear Lord, she's got enough going on in her life. So, anyway, problem one, problem two, problem three. I have worked on this four whole days. Four days. I, of course, I'm probably not going to show you all those clips I took, but in one of the clips, I told you how it was too tight right here around my inner tube. And so I took it out from... The, under the dart, I took it out all the way down on the sides, and so now I've got wings here on the side. I needed it in the inner tube area, but I didn't need it in the hip area. So you can see on this side, it's got two darts in the front, two waist darts. So I'm going to take this waist dart all the way through the hem, this waist dart all the way through the hem, and take the um, seam back in over here on the side, down here at the hip area. And then, you know, leave it wide at the inner tube area. <laughs> Then, the next thing is, I showed Phila the other night. I decided to make it really go with the skirt. I would put some applique from the skirt on this blouse. So I had it all lined up right here. I have a picture of it. I'll show it to you right here. Ouch, I just stuck myself with the pen. <laughs> Look at the picture. Okay. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, heavens, call 911. Oh, my heavens, hold on. <laughs> Good heavens, it's dangerous. <laughs> and I'm in, you say, where are you now? I'm in the corner of my bedroom because my next door neighbor had some hail damage on her windows and Anderson Windows is there. They've got like three trucks in this great big trailer and they're replacing some windows. Well, evidently, you have to have very loud tools for replacing windows. Who knew? So I'm trying to hide away from the noise for you guys. I have the door shut. Anyway, where was I? Oh, the applique. You saw the applique and I had it right here. Well, when I put the blouse on, it looked like I had appliqued the top of my boob. I gotta watch I don't get that blood on me. So I had to take that off. So I thought maybe I'd try it on just the collar. What do y'all think? Horrible? Good idea? You know, you're supposed to do things to draw your eye up. 
When you look at me, does your eye just go, oh, I've got to look up right now. Huh? Or do you think, what is that blob on the collar? It's not permanent. It's held on with the pen. <laughs> I wanted to get one of the leaves on here, but this rose is too big. I might try a smaller rose so I could get one of the leaves. I was wanting something on here that had this blue in it. So, I haven't got the buttons and buttonholes in the cuffs yet. I've got to do that. But I'm not going to do that unless I decide I love this and I'm going to keep it. You can see I've marked the bust button. And according to them, the first button is supposed to go right here. Well, that is just too low for even me. I mean, I just, I don't want to be that open. So I'm raising the first button. You can see how it starts to go off to the collar right there. But I don't care, I'm raising the first button. And this will be the bust button. And I've got my tool. Oh, you want to see my tool? Oh my gosh, hold on. Here it is. Here it is. How awesome is this? Look. Ta-da! And then you can just go back in. And everything separates the same amount, supposedly. Actually, that doesn't look like it's separating the same amount here. It looks like it starts from here and then continues. So anyhow, you line this up. The first one, the second one, ouch. <laughs> the second one will be where that bust pin is. And then I will spread it. Second, second, second will go to there. And so this will be button one, button two, button three, button four, button five. See? How awesome is that? <laughs> I don't even know what buttons I'm going to use yet. But anyway. I think that's the coolest tool. And I got it from someplace called sewingparts.com, I think is what it was called. So, this is it. M6750. Philly told me she had the same problem. She said the neck was so high on her. She made this years ago. <coughs> she said the neck was so high on her, she thought she put the round back in two times. And one of you left a comment and said you made this blouse and the neck was very high. So I don't know what's with the giraffe neck on this thing. But I think I like it well enough to keep it and um, find some buttons and go ahead and finish it. But tell me what you think about the applique. Let me show you without it. Let me remove it. There. There it is without it. What do you think? Much better? It's a cute shape. I like the shape of the hem of it. I like the way it's rounded, you know. Yeah. Rounded. For hip duty. Did I walk right out of the picture? <laughs> That's probably a plus. <laughs> mm. So, I'm not going to show you the 5,000 clips I made. I will show you an easier thing to Palmer and Plesh because this one is very difficult. And even with everything I know, I still had so many things to go back and fix. So I don't, I would not start on this blouse if you're a new seamstress. Don't start on this blouse. <laughs> so, today's Friday. My husband's coming either tomorrow or the next day. And then I probably won't be able to make so many videos for you guys. Because as you know, I have to be quiet when he's here. <laughs> so you might not see me much next week. But when he goes to do something, I'll sneak in and say hi real fast, okay? So, um, why don't I go ahead and finish this blast before I end this video. And then I'll show you how it looks all done. Alright, I'll be back. Well, hello again. <laughs> it is after 5 o'clock. And I'm hungry. And I have no idea what I'm going to make myself for supper. But, I thought I would show you this garment. <laughs> I kid you not. I could have made costumes for the seven dwarves and Snow White to boot in the time it's taken me to make this one blouse. It has given me many a headache. <laughs> oh my heavens. I forgot what I told you in the first part of this video, but I'm telling you this is one complicated pattern. It has so many issues that have to be taken care of. Now I need your help with the last 
two issues, okay? The blouse, when I put the thingy on it, you saw the thingy on it, it wants to have six buttons. So I have actually put six button holes in it. You can see there's one down here without a button. But it's okay, I can take it out because I haven't cut it open yet. Because, you know, there's some kind of a law in the universe that you have to have an odd number of buttons on your blouse. I thought, well, maybe if I put six buttons here and one on each sleeve, that'll be an odd number. No, it's not. That's an even number, too. <laughs> you see, there's one on each sleeve. Oh, my goodness, has this blouse been hard to do. I'd like to show you the whole thing, but I can't seem to get far enough back unless I go in here and I get in the jacuzzi. <laughs> and I'm so tired. Oh, I had a wonderful, wonderful lunch today with a new friend that I met. I've been praying for a friend here in Edmond. I just, I don't have anybody. You know I have lots of friends. I have all of you guys who I love very much. But I mean, I don't have any flesh and blood friends right here in Edmond. So, in a very unusual string of events, um, I was able to meet somebody today. Her name is Mary. And I enjoyed meeting her so very much and hope that we'll get to spend lots of time together in the future. So, anyway, that was a true blessing from the Lord and I'm very grateful for it. But this blouse! Ah! <laughs> I'd like to take it by the sleeves and wind it up in a knot and yank it apart. But aren't I always like that when I finish a garment? And I don't even know if it looks great with this skirt. But my two last things, the buttons. Do you think I need to go ahead and add another button? Would it be okay to have six buttons? Do I need another button? Will it stay together if the wind blows? Will my blouse come flying up over my boobs? Y'all tell me what you think about one more button. <laughs> and then the next thing is, let me pin this on. Do you like the blouse with an applique on it? I had some appliques on it yesterday and I took a picture of it and I showed it to Philly. At the appliques, I think I told you this this morning. You know, it's been several hours since I talked to you all this morning, and I won't know what the heck I said to you till I edit this. <laughs> but the appliques were right here. And when it was on Betty Blue, they looked really pretty. I had like three roses and some leaves, and they looked really good. But then when I put it on me, it was like rap -a boob and I didn't like that. So what do you think if I put a flower on one of the lapels? Or does it look better? with nothing. Did I show you this already this morning? Boy, I wish I had a memory. Do I tell you guys that all the time? You want to see it with the skirt? How about that? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, my skirt is just plumb falling off of me. I'm not kidding, y'all. It needs to be up here. It's got, goodness, at least three inches it needs taken out of this waist. Oh, I don't know why. I seem to always think I'm way bigger than I am. I can see I look really, really little in the camera. I'm sorry. But I just wanted to see what you think about this blouse with this skirt. So, that's all. I've got to go. I'm going to make myself some supper. I will edit this video. I will not be including the 5,000 clips I made showing you how to make this blouse. I will start on a much easier project to show you guys how to do the things you've asked me to do. I feel like I'm talking <laughs> down to the ground. <laughs> Let me wipe this back up. Okay. Yes, I will use a much easier pattern. This one is a nightmare. A nightmare. You need to start with an easier... This one doesn't even have a lot of pieces, you guys. It has a front, a back, and a sleeve. I don't know why it is so complicated. But... I don't know. I think I'll hang it in my closet for like a year and maybe then I'll like it. I don't know. I may be starting blouse number four to go with this skirt. <laughs> I don't know. I get tired and I'm just goofy. All right. Y'all let me know what you think. Applique. No applique. Six buttons. Is it against the law? Will you not tell anybody on me? Let me know what you think and I'll be back soon. <laughs>